Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss that how to configure and change the operation of switch interfaces. Interfaces means ports, these ports. So as we have been discussing that a switch, Ethernet switch, operates at the data link layer of the OSI model and its job is to forward the frame. So what it what what it does actually it receives the frame from one user and then it forwards those frames to another user and for that it uses the interfaces or the ports so these are the physical connections here so today we are going to discuss that how to configure these ports or interfaces specifically we will discuss that how to configure the speed duplex description and disable. So we will look at these four commands. And remember, every port or each interface can have different configurations. So the first we will discuss uh, how to change the speed. So these switches may support multiple speeds. So for instance, we have these ports, have these in these interfaces. They all support different speeds maybe 10 megabits per second, 100 megabits per second, and 1000 megabits per second. So every single port can support these three speeds. So this is the uh, capability of that uh, interface. Now, at particular instant of time, what speed is supported by any particular interface or port that by default is auto-negotiated. Auto-negotiated means when this gets connected with some other devices, then they negotiate and they agree on some specific speeds, whether 10, 100, or 1000. So by default, they negotiate, auto-negotiate that speed. But we can also change that speed explicitly by using some commands. So specifically for them, the commands are, so first we need to go from this configuration, so from global configuration mode to the interface mode, and this is interface command and then which specific interface we want to configure. So we can have multiple interfaces, maybe 10, 20, or whatever is the number. But first we need to go to a specific interface. For instance, at the moment I want to go to fast Ethernet 01. So maybe this one this. So using the CLI, I go to that interface and then use the command that is C. And this auto means you auto negotiate, which is by default. Or we can explicitly say to this port that use this speed that is 10 megabits per second. Or we can say 100 or 1000. So these are four options which can select. And by using the command of speed, we can set the speed of any port of a switch. So let's see the same thing in packet tracer. So now we are in the packet tracer. So I have taken uh, one PC and a switch. And just to configure the switch, just go directly on the switch, click command line interface, and now press enter. We are in the command line interface of the switch. Now we want to configure the speed, uh, speed of one particular port of the switch, okay? So then for that, we need to go to privilege mode and then global configuration mode using config key command. And then to specific interface, maybe interface. And we can go to fast Ethernet 0, 1, slash 1. So we selected one specific port of that, inter of that switch, a specific interface of the switch. So we are in this fast Ethernet 0, slash 1 interface of this switch. And now we want to set the speed of that specific interface. So the command is speed, speed. And then what kind of, of speed or what, what speeds are available in this port, or what speed is supported by this port, just, just type a question mark here. And this switch will show us the possible speed supported by this port. So that is 10, 100, and auto. So let's say we want to change it to 100, so just type 100 and enter. So now we have intentionally set the speed of this port as 
100 MVP. The next feature which we are going to discuss is the duplex feature of a port or an interface. And this feature actually selects the mode of operation of any port of a switch. So for instance, we have this switch and we want to configure the duplex mode of the port. And if you remember, we have full duplex and half duplex. In full duplex, the devices are allowed to send and receive at the same time. And in half duplex, devices are not allowed to send and receive at the same time. So we want to we want to configure this specific feature of the port. And to configure this feature, we have this command. First, we need to go to that particular interface which we want to configure. So we went to this interface of this switch. And then just duplex, auto, means auto negotiate. And then we have duplex full and half. So we have three, three, these three options and by selecting any one of the options, we can configure the duplex mode of the switch. To configure the duplex mode of any port of a switch, so again, select the switch and go to the command line interface, then enable to go to the privilege mode from here, global configuration mode. And here we select any interface which we want. So for example, again, the fast ethernet and zero slash one. So we selected that uh, interface again. And here we have to type duplex, duplex. And what options do we have? We can type here question mark. So the iOS will display the options here. So the options are auto, full, and half. So for instance, we are going to select full and say enter. So now we have configured this specific port or this specific interface of the switch to work in full duplex mode. We can actually uh, enable or disable the interface of a switch. Actually, this will logically disconnect an interface or a port of a switch from the network. So for example, we have a switch and there, that any port of the switch may be connected to any, any node or any computer. Now, instead of just removing this cable, we want to issue some command and that command should disable that particular port. So we have the command. And uh, what we do, so in this way, we just uh, disable any particular port. The command is, first we need to go to that particular interface, in this case, the same interface, and then just we need to uh, use a command that is shut down. So shut down with this uh, command, we will just administratively disable or disconnect an interface of a, of a switch. And if you want to, uh, again, make that interface or port administratively up, then we use the no shutdown command, which is really popular and uh, very useful, which we'll be using again and again. So no shutdown command will just put that interface again in the active state. It will start working, functioning again. Now to show that how to disable any interface of a switch, so we need to go from this global configuration mode to that particular interface of the switch, which we want to uh, uh, disconnect, or which you want to convert into administratively down position. So we go to that interface, maybe again the fast ethernet, zero plus one. So we are in the interface mode. And here just we issue the command shut down, so shut down and press enter. So you can see, that this particular interface changed its state, its state to administratively down. And the final command which we wanted to discuss today is text description. And this feature actually allows you to add a text description to an interface. So for instance, you have a switch and that switch is connected with, with any, maybe to my computer. Maybe the, I have a computer here and that particular interface is connected to my computer. So I can give a description to that specific port 
which will remind me that this specific interface is connected to my computer or that specific interface maybe is connected to one particular server machine. So just a description will be added which will remind me that the functionality or whatever I want there. So for that, that's really useful. For that, again, we need to go to that particular interface, whatever interface you want to go in. So you select interface and then command is description and here, whatever you like, you can write here. I have written to my PC. Now to set the description on any port of the switch or interface of the switch, what we do, we are already in the interface mode of the switch. You can see I appear and then the command is description. So that description and I can see, I can write any description for one to my PC and press enter. So we added the description to that interface of the switch. Now if you want to see whatever configuration we have given to the switch, if you are interested, interested in looking at those all configuration, then if you remember we discussed that, discussed the command that is show the interfaces status. So it will display the status of all of the ports of the switch. You can see these all are the ports on that switch. And you can say enter, 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 enter. So we have these from 24 to 1. These are the fast Ethernet ports available on that switch. And we just configured only this port. And you can see the status of that port is disabled. And duplex is full duplex because we administratively configured it and we selected the speed that is 100 and this is the type of the port. So this is just the information about that uh, port. And for the rest of the ports you can see, for instance, this port. So for this port you can see there is no duplex. It means this is will automatically, this will negotiate, auto-negotiate about the speed of that port. And that same port will actually automatically select the speed and but the different thing here is that this port is disabled and this port is shows that this is connected. This is because in this packet tracer or in this uh, um, diagram, I have connected this computer with that port. So that port is actually connected. So you can see this port is connected. So this same thing is shown in the output app that that this port is connected with the computer and this port is not connected but this is disabled so this is not going to show any status whether this is connected or not connected it means that it doesn't matter whether this is connected or not but this has been disabled administratively and for rest of the ports you can see these are they show that not connected not connected so this is about the status of that so you can see we we configured a single port of the switch and we can see the uh, uh, configurations here. And if you want to see the details of every port further, then we have the command show interfaces and we go to that particular interface, for example, fast Ethernet 01, which we configured. So go there and select 01, enter. And now you can see the detailed information about that specific port, about that specific interface which we configured. So you can see it says that this is administratively down, protocol is down, and you can see the description which we selected. So you can see to my PC, the description is shown there. And we also selected uh, this port to work in full duplex mode you can see and we selected 100 megabits per second for this port So you can see the detailed information about that particular interface by using this specific command and rest of the things we will discuss slowly in our future videos now interestingly if we uh, whatever configuration we made if you want to revert those all configuration then we have a command so Whatever command we use, just we have to use a no in front of them. For example, we configured the speed. So to revert that configuration, we just have to say no speed on that particular port or interface of the switch. And the switch will revert its uh, setting or configuration. So for that, what we have to do, yes, we have to go to the uh, configuration, uh, sorry, interface mode of that. 
also interface. Uh, so this was fast Ethernet. So yes, and then no speed. So this will just revert the configuration which we which we did before, and. Uh, the second way, what we did, we configured the duplex mode as well, and if you want to revert that uh, configuration, then just no duplex, so this will revert the configuration, and then the final was shut down. We administratively put it down, so that is no shutdown, and this command will revert that configuration as well. So just using no in front of all of these commands you can revert all these configurations so this is it for today these were simple commands but these are really useful to configure uh, any interface or port of a switch uh, thank you thank you very much for today